What happens when you take two or more brain organoids and put them in a dish together? Do they compete or form together, or do they just ignore each other? Stanford neuroscientist Dr. Sergio Pasca was the first in the world to do this. He took clusters of brain cells that represent different brain regions and put them together. And what he found was amazing. With hardly any guidance at all, the organoids started to form connections with each other, creating what he calls assembloids. In the early days, we really thought that we're going to need to provide a lot of guidance. So we started this like entire effort trying to find like biological glues that will stick them together until we actually realize this is actually remarkably simple. If you put two of them and you leave them there overnight, essentially by next day, they'll be completely fused. The cells will to a large extent know what to do. What's even more remarkable is that they don't just form random connections. Rather, the same brain areas that connect in our brains find each other in the dish. Once we make actually this brain regions, they to some extent come with their own instructions. So far, Dr. Pasca's lab has built a few different assembloids that represent different brain systems. For instance, they created a corticomotor assembloid. So we put a cortex with a spinal cord and essentially a ball of human muscle. So in that preparation, you can literally trigger muscle contraction by just stimulating cortical neurons. So you may be wondering, why is Dr. Pasca doing this? Well, this research offers something extremely valuable and unprecedented, the ability to study human brain development. Right now, it's basically impossible to study how human brains come together and form circuits in the womb. The closest we can get is looking at animal brains. But of course, that's very different from the human brain. Using assembloids, scientists can study this process in human brain cells. And this could help us understand conditions like autism or intellectual disability, which manifest during brain development. In fact, Dr. Pasca's lab has already used assembloids to develop a new therapeutic for a condition called Timothy syndrome. Let me know if you'd like me to have Dr. Pasca on for a live stream to chat and answer your questions. And of course, follow for more neuroscience.